uh, we are going to find electric field due to uniformly charged ring on its axial point I mean this is suppose the ring and it is uniformly charged it means uh, it has charge over its uh, periphery and total charge is uniformly distributed over its uh, circumference and its radius suppose is uh, r this radius is r and this is the axis on which electric field is to calculate suppose uh, this is the point p where we have to find the electric field <coughs> and this p is uh, at separation x from the center now every every uh, every part every part of the charge every portion of the charge of this ring will create some electric field at this point and the vector sum of electric field due to all these charges at this point p will be the resultant field so i have taken total i assume total charge on the ring is uh, q and uh, here i have taken a small charge let it be dq and uh, it is at separation let this is r and uh, this is the axis i have drawn let it be uh, called x axis this is x axis suppose so this this charge this charge dq is uh, very small uh, very small so that it can sit consider as a point charge it is a point charge and its field will be readily away from the charge itself i mean the field will be away from it being this charge is very small the field due to it will be also very small let it call it de and de equals k dq by r square this is uh, assume theta so this is theta as well similarly if i have uh, if i take a charge just uh, diagonally opposite to this this charge its field will be also readily away so its field will be de readily away and this again theta so if i uh, this field is de so net field net field at point p will be vector sum of electric field due to all charges uh, uh, on the ring this dq charge uh, is generally called charge charged element charge element we have uh, we have this that much electric field due to this charge element and we have to integrate vectorly addition this is vectorly addition vectorly addition of all electric field due to charge elements but uh, if I resolve this field into two component one along the axis so this will be de cos theta and one perpendicular to the axis de sin theta and if I resolve all all electric field at point P uh, we have a one component along the axis and one component perpendicular to the axis and uh, this ring is very symmetrical about its center so there will be so much component perpendicular to the 
perpendicular to the axis and all will be in pair so this will be cancelled out and we have to just add up the components of the field along the x axis so net field will be algebraic sum of uh, x component of uh, field of all charge element I mean d cos theta here theta is cos theta is for this triangle cos theta is x by r d e is d uh, d is here d is k d q by r square and cos theta is x by r so this will be k d d q into x upon r cube i have to integrate all the field uh, taking every charge element on the ring not leaving any element because if i left any element the net field will be not the accurate one here so k x and r cube these are constant because for every charge element this is constant uh, so ca taking this out of the integral uh, k x by r cube dq and this come out to be integration of dq means integration of dq means sum of all charges on the ring so this come out to be total charge so this will be k q x upon r cube now net field is k q x upon r cube so what what equals to r what equals to r r is under root r square x square this can be written as r square x square raised to the power 1 by 2 so r cube equal to square x square 3 by 2 so this can be written as r square x square raised to the power 3 by 2 so this is the this is the uh, expression for net field on the axis of charge ring now we have seen the uh, the electric field due to ring on the axis is along the axis this has charges on the axis is along the axis the field is if this charge is positive and if this charge is negative the electric field on the axis is toward the center toward the sensor uh, center if the charge is positive on the ring the field is away from the center but along the axis and we have seen the magnitude of electric field is given by k q x under root r square x square raised to the power 3 by 2 so this is the uh, expression for electric field on the axial point uh, on its center on its center x is 0 because we know x is the distance from point where field is to be calculated and uh, from the center so this is x so if uh, i'm interested at for field on the center x will be 0 and putting x 0 here gives electric field zero and as x increases electric field magnitude also increases as we have seen in this graph from uh, center o is center here electric field keeps on increasing and at certain distance equals to 
r by root 2 at uh, x equal to r by root 2 actually th there's two point one this side of the ring and one this side of the ring i mean both side of the ring there's a point where fi electric field a has maximum value so one one has to keep in mind that this is the distance from the center where field will be maximum and and uh, as one move away from the center field uh, magnitude keeps on decreasing and if we go far away far away from the center this ring behave as a point charge so if x is very large i mean tends to infinity so r square plus x square uh, approx to x square because this has to be neglected and this expression can be written as k q x upon neglecting r this gives to x cube and this will be result in x square so we have k q by x square this is the same expression by a point charge so uh, if we move away from the ring this ring we have as a point charge mm -hmm. and and one have to remember that at separation uh, at a distance from center equal to r by root 2 the field is maximum how to get this distance this is a simple uh, method from mathematics called uh, principle of maxima and minima where field is maximum we have d de by dx to be zero so we have to differentiate this expression with respect to x and equating de by dx to be zero gives x equal to r by root 2 now we have a problem here suppose we have two uh, coaxial have two coaxial rings here coaxial rings suppose this has charge q1 and radius suppose this has r and this suppose uh, this charge is negative charge q2 and this suppose has charge radius r and we have to somewhere find the electric field on the axis so this ring will produce electric field being a positive charge this field will be along the axis and away from the center i mean in this direction and filled to this uh, ring uh, being negative charge field will be also along the field so both field on this axis is along same direction so net field will be e1 plus e2 and this e1 and e2 uh, can be calculated uh, as we know formula for electric field for a uh, ring k q x upon r square x square 3 by 2 where you know x is this distance and this is r radius and similar uh, same expression will be used for the other ring uh, if the charge on the both are positive in that case this ring the other ring have also positive charge so the field at any point here uh, will be due to this ring will be away from its center and due to this ring away from its center i mean the net field at this point will be difference of the two fields because uh, the field are in opposite direction and one have to calculate their magnitude magnitude then we can decide which direction will be the net field because i don't know in right now whether e1 is bigger or e2 so net field will be equal to difference of e1 and e2 and that decide the direction of net field but i want to emphasize here that the magnitude of field uh, can be calculated by this same formula